the police were just standing by and watching people break into uh, um, palaces and um, vandalize them. Um, so this will definitely uh, demand a much more uh, energetic response from Lula. Um, well, we're still uh, hearing the repercussions from uh, yesterday. There's been a swift institutional response. Uh, for example, the, um, uh, the secretary for uh, security in uh, the federal district has had to step down. Uh, the um, governor of the federal district has been temporarily removed. Um, he was away on holiday, which many people have found very suspicious and convenient since he was a Bolsonaro supporter and the police force in the federal district was very lenient with the protesters uh, yesterday. And there's a lot of talk today on uh, investigating both uh, yesterday's perpetrators, but also uh, the people who financed the protest, for example, the people who paid for all the buses that brought people into Brasilia uh, yesterday, um, but also investigating uh, the authorities that may have been in the know uh, as to what was going to happen and in some way participated mm. uh, or uh, aided and abetted the, the protesters yesterday. So that's the most worrying thing, isn't it? That if there is a collusion between the protesters, Bolsonaro supporters, and the people who are meant to be keeping the peace, that is a whole, whole difficult situation, isn't it, for Lula to manage in the coming weeks and months? Absolutely, absolutely. And um, it's um, a very well-known fact that uh, Bolsonaro has a lot of support, both in the military and in the police forces. Um, for some time, uh, uh, institutions in Brazil have been operated, operating under a, a certain gentleman's agreement where everyone knew that uh, generals and um, influential, important people within the security apparatus were uh, Bolsonaro supporters as individuals and would sometimes uh, express themselves uh, publicly in an individual capacity as Bolsonaro supporters, but um, they weren't uh, acting as Bolsonaro supporters institutionally. Obviously, in uh, moments like yesterday, that is a very difficult distinction to draw when you see that the police were just standing by and watching people break into uh, um, palaces and um, vandalize them. Um, so this will definitely uh, demand a much more uh, energetic response from Lula now, which, of course, brings um, uh, several risks with it because, um, you know, there's a, a fine line between um, making sure that these individuals are punished or at least uh, know that they will have to change their behavior from now on and not generating even uh, more ill will on the part particularly of the military against the incoming government. Yeah. Uh, how do you read the runes? I mean, you're an expert in this field. What do you think will happen? Well, a very important thing uh, yesterday was that um, the um, the public opinion, or at least uh, you know what we um, what we hear from the the official opinion from uh, a corporate media, uh, but also the um, the opinion from uh, the mainstream opinion coming from the political class, including lots of uh, former. Bolsonaro allies or people who may still um, figure as Bolsonaro allies um, now, the everyone's reaction immediately was uh, against the the protests, against the to calling calling it uh, uh, calling it domestic terrorism, calling it vandalism, um, uh, calling it uh, a coup attempt. Uh, and this coming even from people in the right and from people who participated in the Bolsonaro government, um, which shows um, that the tendency is 
for the more radicalized elements in uh, the Bolsonarista base to become more isolated. Uh, that, however, is not necessarily to, so to become politically isolated in the sense that they will lose their uh, interlocutors among uh, the political class and in parliament. Yeah. That isn't necessarily uh, such a good thing. Obviously, it is a good thing in terms uh, of um, the, in terms in in the sense that it means there's less risk of uh, institutional destabilization. On the other hand, it means that this more radicalized uh, sector of the Bolsonarista base, as it becomes more isolated, will probably tend to become more radicalized right. and maybe more prone to this kind uh, of action.